Hello and welcome to the Gary Stewart Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by students at head men's basketball coach Gary Stewart. And coach, it's been a little bit since we've chatted, but um, you know, you guys are finally starting to get healthy, starting to get back to as full strength as you're going to be this season, and um, you know, the results are starting to show two big road wins last week. Yeah, we got uh, Tosh Fleming back that uh, was playing really well for us before the ankle injury, yeah. uh, so it was good to, to have him back on Saturday. And uh, previously, we, we had Evan and and uh, Cam come back. So uh, all three of those guys are real valuable to what we're trying to do. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, you know, like we said, you know, go on the road in the MAC, you know, any road win in the MAC certainly a big one. Um, you go to Messiah, you pull out an overtime game where, you know, Messiah makes a couple of comebacks at the end of regulation, then one in overtime. And then, um, you know, we're able to pull that game out. And then at Lycombe, and, you know, you were able to just get up to a strong start, shoot the ball well, and, uh, had a pretty good victory on the road to complete the season sweep, something you haven't done in several years. Well, we had a, um, a real competitive game, uh, as we always do with, with Messiah, and, and um, I, I thought uh, they played really, really well. They were, they were really prepared, and they, they uh, uh, competed, um, like I said, really well. And, and uh, we got up by uh, uh, several possessions late, but weren't able to close the door, yeah. and uh, they forced overtime. and. Um, and then credit our guys. We got back um, uh, to doing some things that, that got us the lead in regulation and, and uh, thought we had enough separation and, and yet needed uh, uh, to uh, make a free throw and, and, uh, and got the better of a 65-footer that, that missed at the end uh, yeah. to, to beat them and then um, played one of our, our better games all year at, at Lycoming. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, four games left for the regular season. Do you kind of like the way this group's coming together and kind of improving as the season's gone along and you're playing your best basketball, you know, right at the right time? Well, obviously, our best basketball is required at this time of year. And, and uh, it was good to see our, our guys execute on both ends of the floor um, consistently on Saturday at Lycoming. Um, they're, uh, they're challenging. They, they uh, uh, run some good things. And, and so... Um, they put us on our heels defensively the entire game, and and you have to play them uh, collectively as a group defensively. Yeah. You can't get out on an island. Um, so we we really uh, were able to defend. Um, our help was there the entire contest, and and um, and offensively uh, the execution was there, and um, and that's what's required. And that's what's needed yeah. in this league as we go into to uh, uh, Wednesday and Saturday. Um, you have to execute well in February or you're going to get beat. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like you said, four games left in the regular season starting uh, tomorrow night with a home game against Lebanon Valley. Um, you know, what are you looking to do as you get down the stretch and, you know, hopefully beyond and hopefully postseason play? Well, another difficult week for us. Uh, we host uh, the defending conference champions and say tournament team uh, uh, tomorrow night and, and – uh, you know, one of the, not one of the better coaches in our conference, but one of the better coaches in, in all of Division Three basketball. Yeah. And Coach McAllister, he's got some uh, talented kids, and, and uh, they're always really, really good uh, um, offensively and present some challenges that way. And then as we move forward into the week, uh, we get the ECAC champions from last year yeah. in, in Widener. So uh, championship week for us uh, and a big week. And we've got to uh, first uh, have all of our energies on on, uh, on Lebanon Valley and, and – uh, I'm excited to, to 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 see if we can carry over some of the things that we did last week. Yeah, absolutely. Build some of that momentum. Like I said, you know, right now is a great time to be playing, you know, some of your best basketball, and you hope that continues. Yeah, it's really fun to play uh, meaningful games in, in February. And um, from an athletic standpoint, that's one of the reasons why um, our kids came to Stevenson right. um, it was to play in uh, meaningful contests, contests that have a lot riding on it. And, and obviously uh, every single game now, uh, has huge ramifications in, in relationship to to standings and postseason tournament and and, uh, and the like. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, um, we wish you the best of luck starting Wednesday night, and uh, we'll chat again soon. Thank you, Greg. All right, for Coach Gary Stewart, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Gary Stewart Show.